good morning. It's about half past nine on a lovely sunny day and I'm still on the west coast of Scotland. Today I'm going to show you Castle Stalker. Now my original plan was to visit Castle Stalker at dawn and then maybe at sunset and that's kind of copying another photographer's uh, vlog. Uh, Kieran Husband, I'm going to link him up here. He did this vlog just uh, recently, but he, I think he did the filming in the winter when sunset and sunrise were at different times and a bit more spectacular. But this morning I looked out at five o'clock and it was just grey sky right across and there was no point in me getting up. So I've got here, it's not early, but it's earlier than any other tourist. And yes, it is still quiet. We're not long out of lockdown, but it's very, very quiet. The cafe is not open yet. It's a cafe viewpoint, and that's behind me here. And here it is on the map. Uh, we'll just zoom into that. Castle Stalker is just down on the coast there. And that's the Castle Stalker view. And currently during COVID, they've got a, a little uh, cabin to the side, which you can see in the little picture on the top right. And if I drag in Castle Stalker, you can see Castle Stalker just there. And that's the viewpoint areas there. So that's the first one I went to. That's it. Let's have a look at the castle. So at this time of year, you get beautiful gorse, the yellow flowers, absolutely gorgeous. And there's the castle there. And if we look out here, we can see it's still springtime. We're still getting these incredible rainstorms coming through. White uh, hills on Mull. And that's the view. Well, I've actually taken my jacket off for the first time on this trip up to the West Coast at the beginning of May. We're now getting what May should feel like. Beautiful and warm, sunny. This is what we're ex I was expecting. This is now Friday, my last day here. So, of course, the weather's going to improve. It's probably going to be gorgeous next week. And I'll, I've missed all the best weather. But I haven't missed the best weather because there were some incredible rainstorms going through and there was some interesting scenery. So I can't really complain. So what we're going to do just now is check to see if a polarizer will make any effect on the scene. I can use this nice bench. It's a war memorial bench. So yes, the polarizer will bring out some of the blue. Beyond the, the castle, in the low sky, the, the blue is very, very, very pale. And then it gets darker as you go up. That's kind of normal. And by putting the polarizer on, I can take the blue out completely, or I can make it just a, bit, a little bit bluer. So I'll be using the polarizer. Sun's going in for a few minutes. Chances are the sun will go in and disappear for a long time. Which way is that cloud going? If the cloud is going that way, I've lost the sun for the day. I've lost the sun on this. It might come back. So what I would have done is... I should try and do it anyway, just in case the sun comes back. Is put this on the tripod and then focus stack so that I've got the bushes and the castle actually in focus. And it would have been lovely if it was sunny. I might have to wait quite a considerable time to get a decent amount of sun. I think I spoke too soon when I said it was lovely. It is nice with the sun out. Unfortunately, the sun is short-lived, as always. I've not been overly lucky with the weather. So, as I said before, 
two legs forward, one leg back, like that. Uh, we need to extend it all the way because the bushes are quite high. I might take a slightly different view in a minute because I might be able to get that stormy weather in the background into this view. Right, there's a tree over there which has got to avoid being in the way. So let's see, I'm going to raise that up as far as it will go. Put that on so I can get my horizontal. Where's my wheel? So I don't want to have too much of the bushes. That's it. Lock it off. So we can focus on the bush. That's a gorse bush. Whenever it's on the tripod, use this, the release. It's mainly because it is quite wobbly on there. It's not the, the best when it's up high. Using this is a bad idea at the best of times. So that's the gorse bush. I'm just going to overexpose on that because I never get the exposure just right. So, so a few of that. Then I'm going to focus on the castle. Okay, and that looks quite nice. And that is at the widest, which is 20, uh, 70. So we're going to zoom in. No, that was, that was at its furthest at 70. Yeah, so I can't zoom in any further than that. So I'm quite far away. Didn't want to bring the big lens for this, but it gives the whole scene. It's quite nice. It's just a shame I've lost the sun. Okay, let's just leave myself waiting in vain for some sunshine and we shall have a look at what I did with the two images that I just took and a critique of my composition. First of all, I took the two images and brought them up in Photoshop as layers. That's one on top of the other. So you've got the focus for the bushes on the top and the castle is at the bottom. I then started to erase part of the upper image, which revealed what was below, which was in focus. Now, some of that was quite tricky, as I had to get right in amongst those little yellow flowers and take away what was behind. Now, having focused on the castle at F8, the bushes behind the gorse were actually in focus. So really it was just a band of yellow that wasn't in focus, apart from, unfortunately, on the right hand side, that bush was just a little bit closer and was never in focus at all. I then brought those down into one layer, saved them, brought them back into Lightroom and then did some little magic on it to make it a slightly more interesting image. But the composition, what have I done with that composition? I should have actually moved a few steps to the right to bring the castle into that dip that you can see in the gorse bush and it would have framed it a little better. It may have put the castle a bit further into the landscape and it might have might have clashed a little bit with the buildings behind, I'm not really sure, because I never really tried it. I was too busy playing to the camera, the video camera, as opposed to really looking at my composition. I must improve on that. Anyway, let's see, have I actually found some sunshine or am I giving up and moving on? So as I'm getting myself ready to move on, try and get a different scene. Accessibility wise, car park is just there, gravel path down to the, the main viewpoint which is here, can't get better. What I'm going to do next is take you to another area which is slightly more iconic view which is down on the beach but I'm going to have a look over here and see if we can get some of this weather first and then we're going to go down to the beach. So I've moved down the path, it's a little bit rougher coming down to this, this far. We're only metres away from where we were, but it gives a more open scene and shows that weather going through there. Not the sunny images that I was after. <laughs> Thank you. 
still no sun. If I stop here and go for a coffee, because it's now five to 10, I'll get myself a coffee and I can guarantee the sun will come out. If I wait, I'll just get cold and wet probably. But the scenery is gorgeous. Look at that over there. So what we're looking at, the, the land over there, that's called Mordor, sorry, Morven, and the island over here is Lismore, and that stretches right down to just off where I'm staying, uh, just north of Oban at North Ladeg. And then beyond Lismore, just in the, in the murk, is Mull. I'm not getting what I want, so I'm going to go for a coffee. So I've come down to the beach for the iconic shot of the rails leading right to Castle Stalker. If I'm very lucky, I might get some sunshine soon, but I'm not holding out any hopes for it. I can see blue sky, but I've been watching blue sky for ages. I was up at the viewpoints earlier, an hour and a half, I waited, had a cup of coffee and something to eat, still no sun. But I might just get a glimmer of sun for this. But what I'm gonna do is I've got the camera quite low. I'm gonna focus on the rails in front of me and then focus midway and then focus on the castle itself and hopefully be able to stitch that lot together and get a really good image. So we've been doing a lot over the last few days on the west coast of Scotland. I'm almost broken. I think Duke is actually broken. Hey, he's a tired boy. Anyway, let's have a look at this, see what we can do. So as I say, I'm going to focus at the front. So I'm just going to move that there, focus on that part there, lock it off. So the first patch of green in front of me is in focus. Now all I'm going to do is take bracket off, do that, show that I'm bracketing, try and symbol that I'm focusing, won't make any difference, but put a bra bracket back on again. Not really sure, I don't really need to bracket, I really don't need to bracket, but if I get that right, I don't need to bracket. Let's take that back again. So I'm just focusing. So I'm on that one there. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So I want to overexpose that a little bit. Get nice and bright. I'm not really centered in the image. It looks like I am. But I'm not, so I'm going to move that a little bit to so get that smack bang in the centre and try and get that as level as possible, it's just fractionally off level. So that's level there. I want a bit more of the castle, there's too much, yeah, I had too much, or not enough should I say sky, too much foreground. I'm going to take that back off again. So I'm focused on the very foreground. Okay, that's in the middle. I'm now going to focus further up the rail. So I'm going to just show that I'm focusing there. Focused on that. Let's see what the image looks like. That doesn't look too bad at all. There's very little burnout on this. This is excellent. Not bracketing at all. Now, I've got to focus on the island. I'm going to show that I'm focusing on the island. And then take that image. That's okay. And because I'm getting slight burnout, I'm going to take the exposure back down and take another image. And then the clouds are all just right. 
I'm starting to get some sunshine. Just checking your legs aren't in the, uh, the image, they're not, that's good. So I'm gonna stand up. Because my legs are hurting. Oh, back down again. The sunshine is coming. Here comes the sun. Na 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 na. Here comes the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a good singer. Definitely not. Lots of swallows flitting about just now. I think that's what is. Oh, we're going to get some light. We are getting some light. That looks quite nice. Am I actually going to get... Am I actually going to get some sunlight on this castle? Unfortunately, because I've been here so long, the sun's actually gone round that way. So there's, the face nearest me is going to be in shadow even though the sun comes out. So not having bright sun is probably better. I'm just getting a little bit of highlight on the south, south, or is it going to be southeast facing wall? But the northeast facing wall thereabouts not really sure where north is north's that way i think the east the east facing wall is definitely in shade but i've got some nice lights on that island now yeah that is quite nice and there's some interesting rain over there i don't think it's in the view though no that is nice. So I'm going to do it all again. Oh, good grief, Alistair. Stop it. What are you doing? You can't be doing it all again. Ah, oh, little did I know that I already had the image in the can, so to speak. I just didn't realise it. And I wittered on for about another 10 minutes. I changed the scene slightly to show the rain coming in. And this is it here. I, I quite liked it. I quite like it now, in a way. I didn't like it at the time because I thought the castle was a bit too small. So I reset everything and started again. But you really don't want to see that because the image was already captured. And I have to say that I think, personally, doing vlogs, this is probably the best image I've ever taken on a vlog. And I'm going to show you that at the end. So just let me wrap up now. So I would say now I've got the image that I really wanted. Got a bit of sunlight on the castle, the rail's going in. A lot of interest on the rail with the seaweed and the, the green seaweed and the dark seaweed. It's very nice. Leads out to there, bit of drama in the sky, a bit of grey really. I've got what I want. Accessibility, this one's a bit, bit harder. You can't park really close and there's a small car park just there uh so the building i've forgotten what's called the old it's the old mill or something i'll write it here it's kind of what it is there's a small car park there but there's lots of signs as you come in saying no parking and the gentleman at the viewpoint said they're just going to close that off because there's too many camper vans in the area so i'll get back up and get out fairly soon the other access is further along and you come along the cycle rat track but again, you can't park at it because it says private parking. So it's very difficult to park in this area and come along. But there is a cycle track that goes right past. So if you can walk along that or cycle along that, along that from somewhere, you can get to here. So yeah, it's a bit harder. So just on the beach, the path is just there. It's an easy walk down if you can get to this area at all. And that's the view. There's a massive rock there, which, when the tide is in, is a really good focal point to have in front of the castle. And I might actually take a walk along there and get a, a sunnier view of the castle itself. It just depends. And I might just throw the drone up if I'm allowed. I'm going to check to see if I'm still within the 
open air, air traffic control area. I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me today at Castle Stalker. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed what it was doing, and just like to say, as usual, get out, take pictures, have fun, but also please like and subscribe. Maybe even share. Yeah, that's a good idea. Share as well. Just helps the channel a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.